Hey guys, what's going on? Hopefully y'all can hear me just fine. So it occurred to me that I think that it would only be fair to give certain peoples a chance to uh, debunk the 200 plus Flat Earth Bible verses here on my channel going live with me through a Google Hangout. And uh, so let me let me break this down to you. This is also in the video description below, so you can check out all of the stipulations to it. But let me go ahead and try to sell this thing to y'all. So are you a Bible believer who knows the earth is a spinning globe? Are you tired of hearing Christians say that there are over 200 Bible verses that refer to the earth as being stationary and flat with a dome overhead? Do you wish you could tell them to their face the proper way to interpret those verses and prove them and to the world that they are completely flat out wrong? Well, you're in luck because you have an opportunity to tell me, Nathan Roberts, in front of a live audience. Let me make sure you guys can still see me. Okay. In front of a live audience. Um, on my YouTube channel here, Your Curveless Earth, how the 200 plus Bible scriptures do not refer to a flat earth cosmology. And using only the scriptures, you will have the opportunity to state your case uninterrupted. What do you think? All right, so now there are some ground rules and stipulations to this challenge. First, the only topic which can be discussed is cosmology using only only the canonized books of the Bible. Number two, the person who has been given the floor to state their case is done so without interruption by the other party, at least for whatever time is deemed um, uh, fair for each of the participants. So number three, initially the challenger who is going to say that the Bible verses are not actually flat earth, they will only be able to address the 200 plus Bible verses that are published on the flat earth doctrine.com website on the page, which is flat earth doctrine.com forward slash flat uh, dash earth dash scriptures. Only after these scriptures have been addressed. And if time allows, will the challenger be able to introduce other scriptures to be considered as a proof for a spinning globe earth or maybe even just debunking the flat earth if that's which they kind of go hand in hand so anyways number four the debate will have the following format first the challenger will put forth his case as to why a particular flat earth theme is not taken within context or has nothing to do with the cosmology then i will have the opportunity me to reinforce why that theme is related to a flat earth cosmology some themes are uh, some of the themes which are published. Um, I think all of them actually. All of the themes are published on my website page, Flat Earth Doctrine forward slash. So it's flatearthdoctrine.com forward slash flat dash earth dash scriptures. And that includes themes like uh, Earth created before the sun, universe is complete, not ever expanding. Earth measurements are unknown, and Earth is a disk or a circle, not a ball. Number five, you must provide at least one verse in the Bible that unquestionably proves the Earth is moving. Not stationary, not fixed, but moving. And number six, you must provide at least one verse in the Bible that undoubtedly proves the earth is, in fact, a ball or a sphere. Now, if you agree to these terms and conditions you are in, in, are, in are still interested, then uh, in order for you to be considered for this challenge, please send me an email to nathan at flatearthdoctrine.com with at least a draft email disclosing your notes for debunking the, the over 200 plus Bible uh, verses, which talk about a flat earth cosmology and, uh, and, and specifically to those themes that are listed on that particular website that I have all the scriptures uh, listed, as well as you have to provide, again, at least one Bible verse that unquestionably pr proves the earth is moving 
And you have to provide your Bible verse, which undoubtedly, undoubtedly, I mean, without a shadow of a doubt, proves that the earth is a sphere or a ball. Now, I must make a disclaimer. If you prove that you qualify for this challenge, and you do in fact come with me and do this show on my channel, the video will not go away, ever. It will not be deleted. So if you truly believe you will not regret going live with me in an attempt for you to make Flat Earth Doctrine look completely ridiculous, then game on. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing these emails come through. God bless you guys. Take care.